Some men aren't looking for anything logical, like money. They can't be bought, bullied, reasoned, or negotiated with. Some men just want to watch the world burn. All the pieces on the board are moving, both in terms of the, the, the relationships among and between nations, as well as the pieces of what employment future we, people have. Hi, fellow patriots. This is Peter Boykin from hashtag go right. Share this right now. Time to go right. Hi folks, thanks for coming in. This is Hashtag Go Right with Peter Boyk and I'm your host, part of the Go Right Network and GoRightNews.com. We've got a couple of articles and viral videos to go over. First we have the Biden crime family. Joe Biden lies about having epiphany on gay marriage. Biden issues gun control executive order. Joe Biden wants to reduce milk for babies and mothers. And sleepy Joe Biden's bedtime. We got this and more viral videos coming up. I think it's time for us to... Go right. We'll be right back with this story from Go Right News. You can follow us on GoRightNews.com for more information. Our government should be ran by the people and mainly by those like myself who can understand the everyday struggles of its citizens. Win or lose, I cannot just sit on the sidelines and comment. Running is activism. So if you have or you like the content that I've put out, in the past, please help me towards the future. Let's hashtag go right with Peter Boykin. Obama, hmm. if you weigh 99 pounds and eat a pound of nachos, you're now 1% nachos? What? If you drop soap on the floor, is the floor clean or is the soap dirty? Dude, what are you talking about? Which orange came first, the color or the fruit? Huh? If two vegans are arguing, is it considered beef? Please stop. If you were born deaf, what language would you thinking? If you get out of the shower clean, how does your towel get dirty? Uh, wait, what? If Apple made a car... Would it still have windows? Oh, wait, you got a point there. Hunter Biden's on Craig Rod. 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 The Biden crime family. House Republicans released subpoenaed financial records that indicate a Chinese Communist Party, CCP, linked energy company funneled over $1 million to the Biden family, including through Joe Biden's daughter-in-law, Hallie Biden. But, you know, Donald Trump is wrong and needs to go to jail, right? Huh? Hallie was married to Joe Biden's son, Bo, who died of brain cancer in 2015. They had two children. And Hallie then began dating Bo's brother, Hunter, between 2016 and 2019. I kind of think they were messing around already. The body wasn't even cold yet. The House Oversight Committee, held by GOP Representative James Comer, revealed it had subpoenaed the bank records of a Biden family associate named Rob Walker. Walker facilitated the money transfer 
from the CCP-linked company to the Bidens. Now, here's a timeline of how the month money movements went down. January 20th, 2017, Biden leaves office as VP. March 1st, 2017, State Energy HK, Hong Kong Limited, the CCP-linked company, wired $3 million to Walker. March 6th, 2017, over the past three months, Biden family members began receiving incremental payments, total $1,065,692. Four Bidens. The Biden family members who received money were Holly Biden, James Biden, Joe's brother, Hunter Biden, and an unknown account and divided only as Biden. The committee is investigating the identity of Biden. Now, probably Joe. You're the big guy. Holly Biden, since the Hunter Biden laptop leaked in 2020, we've known the Bidens were profiting off the CCP. But Holly's involvement was previously unknown. And curiously, she received a $10,000 payment from Walker on February 13th, two weeks before the State Energy HK Limited wired him the $3 million. Now, Hunter and James Biden ultimately received about at least $4.8 million from CEFC China, the parent company of State Energy HK Limited, between 2017 and 2018. And according to files put pulled from Hunter's laptop, 10% was going to the big guy. It's widely accepted that the big guy is Joe Biden. Now, why all this matters? As president, Joe's soft on China policies have allowed the CCP to expand its influence and diminish our own. Considering the millions his family has made from China, it's reasonable to wonder if it's been on purpose. In their report, the House Oversight Committee says, quote, the committee is concerned about the national security implications of a president or vice president's immediate family members receiving millions of dollars from foreign nationals or companies without any oversight. Yet all this, and they want to put Trump in jail. Go figure. The source of this is the House Oversight Committee and the New York Post. The links to these articles are on this article on GoRightNews.com. The president used his radio address uh, yesterday and tomorrow in the Rose Garden to talk about a constitutional amendment to ban gay marriage. You know, think about this. The world's going to Hades in a handbasket. We are desperately concerned about the circumstance relating to uh, avian flu. We don't have enough vaccines. We don't have enough police officers. And we're going to debate the next three weeks, I'm told gay marriage, a flag amendment, and God only knows what else. I can't believe the American people can't see through this. We already have a law, the Defense of Marriage Act, where we've all voted, not where I voted and others said, look, marriage is between a man and a woman, and states must respect that. Nobody's violated that law. There's been no challenge to that law. Why do we need a constitutional amendment? Marriage is between a man and a woman. What's the game going on here? I can't believe the American people can't see through this. We already have a law, the Defense of Marriage Act, where we've all voted, not where I voted and others said, look, marriage is between a man and a woman, and states must respect that. Nobody's violated that law. Joe Biden lies about having an epiphany on gay marriage. Joe Biden claimed during a recent interview that he had an epiphany in high school that caused him to support gay marriage, and his voting record suggests that's a lie. Biden sat down in an interview with Cal Penn on Comedy Central, how appropriate, and was asked, I'm curious what your evolution was like on marriage equality. Biden responded with an alleged story about his senior year in high school, telling Penn, I can remember exactly why my epiphany was. I was a senior in high school and my dad was dropping me off. I remember I was about to get into, out of the car and I looked to the right and two well-dressed men in suits kissed each other and they give each other a kiss. And I'll never forget it. I looked at my dad and said, Joey. And he said, Joey, it's simple. They love each other. It's simple. Now, I'm, now I'm not joking. 
If true, this story would have taken place in 1962. Now there's a fact check. Biden's oath statement and voting record contradict this epiphany story. In 1996, he supported the Defense of Marriage Act, which asserted marriage was only between a man and a woman. And in a 2006 interview, he reasserted his stance saying, look, marriage is between a man and a woman and states must respect that. Then in 2008, during the vice presidential debate, Biden was asked if he supports gay marriage. He responded with one answer, no. As he often does, it seems Joe Biden is just making up stories. Or maybe he's just forgotten. Who knows? Who knows with Joe? Source of this is the Daily Wire. The link to this is on this article on GoRightNews.com. Alpha, no beta, real time, big data, DoorDash, the waiters, the world, some haters. We got the alpha, no beta, real time, big data, DoorDash, the waiters, the world, some haters. We got the alpha. Biden issues gun control executive order. Joe Biden issued an executive order that puts the Second Amendment in his crosshairs again and aims to strengthen gun control laws without the authorization of Congress. Biden announced his executive order in Monterey Park in California, where a gunman killed 11 and injured nine during a Lunar New Year celebration in January 2023. Details on the executive order, it focuses on universal background checks, red flag laws, and holding the gun industry accountable. Yeah, that's a problem right there. Universal background checks. Biden notes that he is continuing to call on Congress to enact universal background checks for gun purchases. But until then, he has asked his attorney general, Merrick Garland to take the U.S. as close as possible without their approval. In simple terms, his order directs Garland to harass gun dealers to make sure they're issuing background checks. Red flag laws. He notes that 19 states have red flag laws and is directing members of his cabinet to raise awareness in those states and encourage their use. Red flag laws suck, people. It's bullcrap. You know, basically... Biden supporters can call a Trump supporter and go, they got guns and they scare me, take them away. Meanwhile, holding gun industry accountable. This order calls on Merrick Garland to publicly release any ATF records of inspection violations that a dealer has received. Now, Biden called for a, quote, assault weapons ban during his speech, telling the crowd, ban assault weapons, ban them again, do it now, enough, do something, do something big. While given his speech in California, Biden did not mention that the state has already implemented the gun control laws he's been calling for nationally. The source of this is the White House and Daily Wire. The links to this is on this article on GoRightNews.com. named Pearl Nelson, military. She'd come in and do things that I don't think you'll learn in medical school, nursing school. She'd whisper in my ear. I didn't, couldn't understand him. She'd whisper and she'd lean down. She'd actually breathe on me to make sure that I was, that there was a connection, a human connection. She even went home and brought back her pillow from her own bed because she didn't knew the one where I had the one comfortable. But I'm not joking. Joe Biden wants to reduce milk for babies and mothers. A bipartisan group of congressional representatives is calling out Biden regime for a proposal to reduce the amount of milk given to low-income mothers and children and replace it with, quote, soy-based products. Soy-based. The cuts are being made. Have you drove by soy? It, tastes, it smells awful. Uh, the cuts are, it smells like mildew. Mildew. All right, the cuts are being made to the Special Supplemental Nutrition Program, WIC, for women, infants, and children, WIC, uh, the 50-year-old program, which ensures nutritional security for low-income moms and their babies. Now, here's what the Biden regime wants to do. 
Children 12 to 23 months reduced from 16 quarts to 12. Children 2 to 4 years old reduced from 16 quarts to 14. Pregnant and breastfeeding moms reduced from 22 quarts to 16. Soy alternatives. The Biden regime plans to add soy-based yogurt and soy-based cheeses as substitution options for milk. Now, what Congress is saying, the group of nearly 30 lawmakers, which includes GOP Chair Elise Stefanik, wrote in a letter, quote, we write today with deep concerns regarding the Biden administration's proposed rule that will reduce the amount of milk available to WIC families. Don't worry, there's no milk available in the stores anyway. This proposed reduction of dairy in the WIC food packages will have unintended and significant negative effects on the health of WIC participants, and we strongly urge you to maintain the current WIC dairy allowments in the final rule. Now, what the Biden regime is saying, let them drink soy. No, sorry. Those proposed changes will strengthen WIC by ensuring it provides foods that reflect the latest nutrition science. Oh, there we go with the word science. <sighs> to support healthy eating and bright futures. Now, denying the science, a USDA study titled 2020 to 2025 Dietary Guidelines for Americans notes that 90% of the U.S. population does not consume enough dairy to meet dietary recommended recommendations. Now more about the WIC. Now I'm, now I'm against wasteful spending, but this program serves our most vulnerable babies and moms. If it was up to me, I would think the elderly should get this too. In order to qualify, they must be, be below 185% of the federal poverty level, which that actually needs to go up because of inflation. And the monthly package only goes towards healthy foods like milk, cheese, eggs, fruits, vegetables, whole wheats, etc. Now, the Biden regime moved to cut out healthy, nutrient-dense milk and replace it with soy is an abomination. It really is. Source of this is Post Millennial and Dairy Foods. The links to this articles are on this article on GoRightNews.com. If they have to pay out $159,000 billion lead, <laughs> less for prescription drugs, then it reduces the deficit. He's very sleepy and also very creepy. His name's Joe Biden, he's in the basement yeah, party yeah, yeah. His name's to be Joe, we can't have him around, nobody no more Doing an abuse, no mind, just Sleepy Joe's Biden's bedtime Someone's lying about Joe Biden's bedtime At 9am, Joe Biden gave a short three-minute speech about the Silicon Valley Bank collapse Saying Americans were rest assured that our banking system is safe Yeah, okay once he finished, he scurried off stage, ignoring questions from reporters. Shortly after, former White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki spoke to the new NBC News about it and unintentionally let America know how useless their commander-in-chief is, as if we already didn't know. Psaki said, it's important to note President Biden does nothing at 9 a.m. He is a night owl. So the fact that he's doing this at 9 a.m. anyway speaks to how vital the White House recognized it for him to have his voice out there. Americans' first reaction was, why am I already at work at 9 a.m. while the President of the United States is still in his pajamas? But it gets worse. A CNN article from February 2021 titled, Inside the New President's Routine, Oval Office Fires and Early Bedtime suggests the opposite of what Pisaki said. Unlike his most recent predecessors, night owls who spend the dark hours reading briefing materials, President Barack Obama, or watching television, President Donald Trump, Biden is more of an early to bed type. So is Joe the early to bed type or is the guy who does nothing at 9 a.m.? I guess both. They don't call him Sleepy Joe for nothing. Source of this is the National Review and CNN of all places. You can find these articles, links on this article, on Go Right News. Thanks for tuning in. And then, but I'm, by the way, you know, I'm not, I, I, I may be a white boy, but I'm not stupid. <laughs>
I know where the power is. I know where the power You think I'm joking. I learned a long time ago about the Divine Nine. Do you like what you see? I will be running in 2024, and I'll need lots of support and funding. FYI, small amounts add up, and I can take donations through the website. The website is peterboykin.com. That's P-E-T-E-R-B-O-Y-K-I-N.com, and it's updated. I plan to run a clean campaign, as we will have a lot of candidates running, and I just hope that money doesn't continue to decide who runs things in Raleigh or D.C. The Constitution of the United States is the supreme law of the United States of America. It superseded the Articles of Confederation, the nation's first constitution, in 1789. Originally comprising seven articles, it delineates the national frame and constraint of our government. Without the Constitution, America could not exist. Without the Constitution, Americans would be fated to live with others throughout human history at the whims of threatening tyrants and under their dark power of coercion. That's where the enemies of the Constitution mean to drive us today, into the darkness, fighting for our freedoms, prosperity, and the survival of our constitutional republic is our best defense. Thanks for listening to Go Right with Peter Boykin. Please like this post and please subscribe and follow and share this podcast to all your social media accounts and visit GoRightNews.com for more Go Right News with Peter Boykin. If you like what you hear, help support the podcast by donating. The link to donate is on GoRightNews.com. Thank you for your support. Check out this news story and more on GoRightNews.com and the podcast hashtag Go Right with Peter Boykin. Go Right and register to vote. Your vote matters, so vote. Go right and vote. Hashtag go right. Go right. Do right. Be right. Go right. Do right. Be right. Lead right. Think right. Vote right. Vote right. Think right. Lead right. Hashtag go right. It's time to join the Go Right movement. It is time to hashtag go right for America. Join us at goright.us. 
and GoWriteNews.com. It is time for the Great American Revival, and it is time to hashtag GoWriteForAmerica. Thanks again, everybody, for listening to this, and please share it everywhere. Again, this has been Hashtag GoWrite with Peter Boykin, a part of GoWriteNews.com.